Hi, my name's Lysander Mills. I play bass and sometimes sing. It's not important. I'm Connor Weber. I play guitar and I sing. I'm Jenna, <laughs> and I play guitar and I sing. I'm Danny, and I play the drums, and sometimes I yell stuff and take off my clothing. Yeah, we're at the Rialto Theater uh, in Kenmore. Uh, this is the release of our second album, Where's the Sun? This is like a huge improvement for us, and so we're super excited about it. Yeah, we spent countless hours working on this. Blood, sweat, tears, more tears. Uh, <laughs> Seth and Nate Vale of and, Just a Dream Entertainment. Yeah. Rock on. And Nate has been a very wonderful producer to work with. Yeah. Okay. To a bunch of our songs and whatnot, so we did we're very job. fortunate to have Nate behind us yeah. and yeah. all this. He really knows his stuff, and he made the album like a whole lot better than it was when we first brought it to him. He helped our songs be good. I'm glad we got to experience it together Same. as a band. Lots of hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We spent a lot longer recording than we ever thought we would. Yes. Like, we, we thought we'd be in and out in like a weekend, maybe a couple extra sessions, and it ended up being... About three months. months. About three <laughs> months, yeah. <laughs> but I think it was worth it to oh, keep absolutely. coming back yeah. because the quality of this album, from my opinion, is really good. Well, and it was because like Nate didn't want it to just be like, yeah, good enough, okay. Like, he wanted us to keep going until it was as good as he knew it could be. Yeah, like, we'd do a take of something, and he'd be like, yeah, just do it again. <laughs> yeah, do it again. You're still yeah, do it again. Up. Yeah, you're still, you know, and, and eventually he'd get it to a point where, like, our energy was at, like, a good peak, and we'd just kind of nail whatever we were doing, and it was like, okay, cool, awesome. We we're still have that, that kind of punk root. We've really expanded though. I feel like the first album was a lot of a lot of punk kind of stuff. Pretty much just that though. This is kind of getting into like indie music territory. It's pretty cool. Yeah. We, we've always had our indie kind of flair though. Like it's always been a little bit different. Like we, we're not just like pumping out we're not, like... We're not a punk band. One, exactly. one and a half minute songs like just like Ramones talking about sniffing glue. Like, you know, we're... We have two minute songs about we, sniffing glue. Yeah, well we don't have any songs about <laughs> sniffing glue yet. But, it's uh, it's like we've we've gotten a lot better at writing too. Yeah. This next album, the two of us had a much larger hand in shaping how the album came to be, which is like I think it has a lot more of a alternative feel to it, and it's pretty eclectic. It, it usually starts with a bass riff or a guitar riff or something. Or sort. like a weird political ideal from me that everybody shapes into something better. We'd each come with a basic idea of like, hey, this would be cool. Let's try to make something out of this. And then we just sit and stare at each other for a moment, and then we <laughs> like an just hour. keep jamming the same riff and see like what works and what doesn't work. Unless Connor specifically, or even Sander specifically, comes in with like, "I like this riff, and here are the words I want to go with it," we start with just a riff without any lyrics. And um, like, I just I don't really write any music, but I write like a lot of lyrics on my own. So sometimes if we don't have anything to go with it, we'll just they'll keep jamming to it while I stand there and just go through lyrics until we find something that really like fits. My favorite song evolution was Honey. Yes. Which is the lyrics are by Jenna, Jenna sings it. And I just remember these really grainy, terrible uh, uh, iPhone phone recordings, re phone recordings from w our, when we had our last basis, you know, it was, it was the, you know, before we even started this album process. process. Yeah. And just listening to that, to what it is now, we just kept evolving it and changing it and letting it become what it needed to be. Yeah, and we haven't played it live yet, and yes. we haven't released it or really shown it to anyone, yeah. so that's like the surprise. It's gonna be, yeah. And definitely it's my proudest my proudest thing from the album, for sure, from my thing. One of our songs, American Terrorist, um, <coughs> we really take light, well, light, but really pound in your face the idea of there needs to be something done about uh, school shootings. Well, there's need and to compromise in general. In general, it doesn't matter like what your stance is, left or right. Something needs to be done because it's obviously not working. I mean, in the past like what week, there's been two massive shootings. Yeah, there's been yeah. a couple just recently. And it's like I, no one even cares anymore. It's just we've all become so desensitized. I think a good portion of our political songs come from frustration at lack of compromise in our government and its inaction. And that's the main thing, is we just want to tell them to shut up and stop arguing and start doing your jobs. If you're going to make art, it's going to be political, so... In some way, shape, or form. Yeah, uh, we, we have a lot of friends, a lot of family coming, we're really excited. These are some people who probably haven't seen us yet, and we're excited to really show off this new material to them. Yeah, I'm super pumped because a lot of my friends aren't super into punk. Like, they've come and they've seen us before and because they're supportive. 
but a lot of them haven't seen this new side of us that we've explored, and I just can't wait to show them something that I think they'll connect with more, so um, that I connect with more personally. Um, so I'm really excited.